Good Monday morning. I'm Dwayne Nelson. An investigation is continuing into what caused a former Johnson City tobacco warehouse to go up in flames over the weekend. It happened shortly after noon yesterday at a building on West Main Street. Black plumes of smoke poured from the structure as fire crews worked to control the flames and to keep any nearby businesses safe. No one was injured. The investigation will likely take several more days to complete. The investigation into an officer-involved shooting in Kingsport continues. Police pulled over a vehicle at the corner of Oak and Maple Streets early Saturday morning. Ernest Franz was allegedly involved in a domestic situation out of Hawkins County in which shots were fired. Officers conducted a felony stop due to France possibly being armed. He failed to comply with verbal commands, and after 34 minutes, officers attempted to approach the vehicle, at which time France allegedly pointed a handgun at police who fatally wounded him. Police Chief Gail Osborne said he was very proud of his officers and their professionalism. They remain on administrative leave until the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation concludes its probe of the matter. Foul play not suspected in the weekend drowning death of an 18-year-old in Cherokee Lake in Hawkins County. It happened Saturday afternoon near the Mooresburg community. The victim has been identified as Joshua Travis Thacker of Rogersville. Authorities said Thacker had been swimming with some friends when he attempted to go across an inlet to the opposite bank when he became winded and cried for help. His friend was unable to get to him in time. Thacker's body has been sent for an autopsy. Carter County Emergency Communications Board of Directors has sent out a warning if the county commission decides not to honor its request to increase funding by just over $230,000, then some services could be cut. Tennessee Valley Authority reporting that reservoir levels in several Tri-Cities lakes are already at midsummer highs. Spokesman David Bolin said area lakes are at levels that are ready for recreational use this summer. For South Holston, Watauga, and Boone and Fort Patrick Henry, conditions are, are really perfect for this time of year. Uh, we're right where we would like to be as far as lake levels are concerned. Bolin added this doesn't usually occur until around June. After Labor Day, TVA will slowly drain the lakes for the winter. Kingsport Board of Mayor and Alderman will meet today to make suggestions on how to prioritize $15 million in capital improvement projects. Some of those items on the list include a wireless network at Dominance Bennett High School, improvements to J. Fred Johnson Stadium, heavy equipment purchases for the Public Works Department, improvements to Sullivan Street, a mobility path along Wilcox Drive for the Aquatic Center, and new emergency sirens throughout the city. Hawkins County officials planning to begin moving into the newly renovated courthouse today. It's unclear when that facility will officially open because as of May 3rd, a walkthrough by architect Tony Moore and County Commissioner Jeff Thacker revealed nearly 50 renovation items that need to be completed. Last month, the building committee voted to impose a retroactive $1,000 per day penalty against Joseph Construction for failing to meet the March 29th completion date for that project. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Monday.